Gimbal Guy here, back again with how to build a drone quadcopter in a day. I actually came up with this. I had a couple parts laying around, some old hub sings, some old slip streams, what have you. Parts and pieces, instead of wasting them and throwing them away, I figured, hey, solder them together and build my own. So here we go. Things that you will need to make this build easy. Here we have the board of a protocol slipstream. We actually are going to just use that, which would be easier. Here you have your four motors. We have our three pieces of wood, which we're going to use. Tools that we're going to need. A Dremel, Dremel bits, soldering iron, solder, screwdriver set, some type of glue. I prefer Gorilla Glue. Double-sided sticky tape. With that, I usually stick down the board, figure out what I'm going to do with the build. I like to test fit things and use the double sided sticky tape to test fit before I actually glue things and then they're stuck permanently. On this actual build I'm not going to draw you out through every step. I'm sure I'm going to explain them as I come back. It's not a step by step build so each step I'm going to come back and show you as they're done. I'm back here from my makeshift garage with the first part of the prototype done. As you see here we have the body made of the wood. Use a little dremeling tool to get that where I wanted it to be. And I have soldered all of the actual motors to the board. Now when soldering, especially to a board, before you place this board onto your actual fuselage or whatever you're going to build, I would hook this board to a power source and make sure each motor is running correctly. Now what I mean by correctly is in the right direction. Two motors run clockwise and two motors run counterclockwise. Hooking up your power source and checking this is a way to ensure that when you mount all of this onto whatever your fuselage is going to be that you don't have any problems and you have to go back to soldering. The way I usually do things is once I've test fit and make sure everything is in the proper position and has the proper clearance then I go ahead and glue it in which means it's pretty much stuck. So I don't want to get this glued all in and then have to solder on the board or make some type of adjustments that I could have made when it was off. Once I get this all mounted up, I'll be back with my first test flight. I'm running motors that usually are on a mini quad that carry a camera. This is a Hubsing shell. I want to see what this body is and I want to see where my body came in. I'm going to weigh it in grams. The Hubsing body weighs in at 10.5 grams. You guys couldn't see that. Let me hit the lights. Let you guys see that. 10.5. 10.4, 10 10.5, teetering back and forth. Frame that I built today. 8.2. Show you guys that. 8.2 again with the battery compartment already glued to what I actually built today. And here we have our finished product. One microphone. You see in the middle we have our board and underneath is where the wiring to the board goes. Underneath also is the battery and pretty much basic. Safe and happy flying here with Gimbal Guy.